Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Keen and Todd Quinones is on assignment tonight. In other news, new direction from the CDC, pregnant women should get the COVID vaccine. The formal recommendation is citing new safety data. Also, just hours ago, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been given the go ahead again after a brief pause over blood clot concerns. Let's get right to 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels live now near the 95 in Cheyenne to explain Joe. Yeah, Tricia, we know that hospital stays connected to COVID-19 are on the rise here in Nevada, but health officials say the best way to avoid a hospital visit, especially for pregnant women, is to get the available vaccine as soon as possible. Pregnancy problems can cause heartache and hardship. Doctors say COVID-19 poses a huge concern for mothers-to-be. We've had, unfortunately, quite a few pregnant women who catch COVID who've become very sick, been on a respirator, and we've got to take the baby out you know, three months early in some cases, and had to do the uh, cesarean section in the intensive care unit. Dr. Joseph Adeshek says the dangers extends to the unborn baby as well, COVID upping the chances for stillbirth, birth defects, and other complications. The problem is, is when people are pregnant, they're more immunocompromised, so they don't fight infections as well as when they're non-pregnant. So getting COVID during pregnancy, much more likely to get intensive care unit admission, much more likely to be intubated, be on a, a ventilator, much more likely to die, 13 times more likely to die of COVID when it's, you're pregnant. On Friday, the CDC formally recommending pregnant women get a vaccine as soon as possible, citing data that revealed of more than 30,000 pregnant women who got the shot. The side effects were in line with others who are not pregnant. Fever, chills, and injection site soreness. Protection for mom and the baby. And those antibodies will cause the placenta, and those will help immunize the baby from catching COVID. You know, those uh, they it's called passive immunization. Dr. Adeshek says the protection carries on after birth. He recommends pregnant women receive either Pfizer or Moderna if given the choice. He says the benefits outweigh any potential risks. Uh, COVID itself can, you know, cause a great deal of damage to the baby no matter when you get it. And the CDC says this is a personal choice and that pregnant women should speak to their doctors about any concerns they may have. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.